Let's do a self-inquiry meditation on King Janaka's question to Saint Ashtavakra. Is this real or was that real? Let's close our eyes and sit comfortably. Take a step beyond the body, beyond the mind, to your true nature of infinite witnessing. There is simply the ocean of witnessing. There is no I. Abide as your true self, the infinite ocean of awareness, devoid of an I. Now, from this vantage point of the empty, aware, witnessing, remember a dream you have had before. Any dream, pleasant, unpleasant, nightmare, fantasy, any dream. Ask yourself, was that real or is this real? Inquire deeply. Attempt to remember the dream vividly. Whether it was a nightmare or a fantasy, all the feelings were actually experienced. All the thoughts were consuming you. The dream felt real at the time of its occurrence. Recollect it vividly. Return to the present moment. Right now, you are sitting and meditating. In this moment, there is the sound of these words. The process of observation and self-inquiry is going on.
this moment feels completely real. The thoughts that are arising are consuming you. The feelings that are arising are consuming you. Was that real or is this real? Do you have proof that this is more real than that nightmare or fantasy? What does your own direct experience tell you? Is the waking state as illusory as the dream state? Is the dream state only as real as the waking state? What is the truth? Let's dive deeper into this self-inquiry. What is the meaning of real? What is the meaning of illusory? Real means that which is permanent. Illusory means that which is transient. Temporary, not actually what it portrays itself to be. In order to convey the difference between real and illusory, let's take some waking world examples. Even though the entire waking world is in question here, we will still use some examples from the waking world because that is what we consider as real at this stage of a beginner of Ajatavad. From the perspective of the waking world, space is permanent, while the blue sky is illusory. The blueness of the sky is simply a scattering of electromagnetic radiation. The sky is not really blue. In simple words, the scattering of light produces the illusory blue color of the sky. If you go touch the sky, your finger does not turn blue. Thus, the blueness of the sky is considered as illusory. In reality, the sky is black, means it has no color.
Therefore, from the perspective of the waking world, space is real. The blue sky is illusory. A rainbow is illusory. In short, real is equal to that which is permanently the same. Illusory is that which appears to be, but it is not so. These were simply examples of the waking world to explain the difference between real and illusory. We will now dive deeper to go beyond the level of the waking world. Take the stand of the emptiness. From this vantage point, look at your experiential recognition of the waking state, the dream state and the deep sleep state. I, the ocean of Emptiness, the witnessing awareness. I know that the waking state arises in me and dissolves back into me. I know that there is a waking body-mind personality in a waking world. In the waking state. And I know the absence of the waking body mind personality, the absence of its waking world, and the absence of the waking state. I, the witnessing awareness, the infinite ocean of emptiness, know that the dream state arises in me and dissolves back into me. I know the dream body-mind personality in the dream state and I know the dream world in the dream state. I know the absence of the dream body-mind personality and the absence of the dream world. In the absence of the dream state. I, the infinite emptiness, the witnessing awareness, know the complete absence. Absolute darkness, absolute nothingness called the deep sleep state. That is why when I am asked about my deep sleep, I say there was nothing there.
I confidently assert my knowledge of the absolute nothingness. These three experiences are my own personal, direct experiences. I know the waking state, I know the dream state and I know the absence of all. This means that I am common to all the three states. This means that I know all the three states. This means that I am separate from all the three states. If I am separate from all the three states, it means I am not the waking state body-mind personality. I am not its waking world. I am simply the knower of both. I am not the dream body-mind personality. I am not the dream world. I am simply the knower of both. And I am not the darkness of absence. I am simply the knower of absence. In my own direct experience, I am simply the knowingness, the infinite bed of awareness. And this is the only reality. All else is illusory. Because all else comes and goes, appears and disappears. All else is temporary, transient, portraying to be what it is not. Even the I thought is not I. The only permanent aspect here is the bed of awareness that is all-knowing and ever-present. So what is the answer to Janaka's question? Is this real or was that real? Ashtavakra says, Both are illusory, O Janaka. Both are illusory. The waking state, the waking body-mind personality, and the waking world are illusory because they are temporary, transient, not what they appear to be.
just like the blueness of the sky is not permanent. Similarly, the waking body-mind personality and the waking world only lasts a few hours. It is temporary, transient, not what it appears to be. The dream state, the dream body-mind personality and the dream world are illusory Odeo Janaka because they are transient, temporary and not what they appear to be. Just like the rainbow in the sky, it doesn't have a designated location. It is not permanent. Both the dream state and the waking state are illusory, are unreal. Oh dear Janaka! Clearly, there is no I that is the waking state body-mind personality. Clearly, there is no I that is the dream state body-mind personality. There is no I, not even in the I thought. The only reality is in that bed of knowingness because only that infinite ocean of awareness or knowingness is permanent. All else lasts but a short time, O Janaka. Both the dream state and the waking state are as illusory as the rainbow. Both are unreal. Both are unreal. Both are unreal.